On Saturday, April 6th, Jordan and I both went to the Dust Warfare Regionals at the Fantasy Flight uh, Games Event Center up in Roseville, Minnesota. Uh, it was my first uh, Dust Warfare tournament, and it was a lot of fun. I thought I'd, um, I took some pictures at the event, I thought I'd uh, record a little uh, battle reports uh, from the tournament. Uh, as you'll notice, I started taking less and less pictures as the day went on. I think I, I don't know, fatigue or something set in, and I don't have near as many pictures. And actually, I didn't take any pictures of the last game, I realized later. So, um, But I'll just go through a little bit about how each game went and, um, and such. So the list that I ended up taking, basically, uh, Jordan had bought a few SSU things. And uh, that's the force I want to take. So I bought a few more SSU things that would fill out uh, that list of 300 points. And uh, that is what I uh, took to the tournament. So my list consisted of the uh, Red Platoon with the Red Command, uh, Red Guards Command Squad, the Red Thunder uh, Anti-Tank Squad, the Red Storm Assault Squad, um, Babushka, and uh, um, a Striker. Uh, chopper and then I had a defense platoon that was led by Kashka with uh, in, in grandma and then the front uh, the Faya Kelly uh, close assault squad and Nadia Walker and then I also had the um, upgrade for the train support and that's uh, what I decided to take So game one, I uh, played Scott, and he was running Axis with a, kind of a heavily zombie-themed army. Uh, he had the Totenmeister for his he for hero. He had the Sturmgrenadier platoon, and also yeah, my German pronunciation is going to be terrible on this stuff. But uh, he had the Commando troop uh, command section, heavy flat grenadiers, laser grenadiers, heavy recon grenadiers, heavy laser grenadiers. Uh, for support, he had the MPW-2D Lothar, and then he had the Blutkritz platoon with improved command, uh, Sturm Pioneer, Axis Zombies, Brain, Erder, Brain Eaters, Uber Toten Assault Squad, and the Heilig Todd Uber Toten Su Suicide Squad. Uh, so we played on kind of like a desert-themed map. Our so we used the battle builder for the the tournaments. That's uh, how every game went to figure out what your scenario was, and uh, I think this was a fairly vanilla game where we played with uh, attrition was our objective, advancing lines was the deployment, and there were no conditions. So just kind of a fairly standard like game. Uh, I deployed my. Uh, Platoon was led by Grandma kind of over on the right flank, and he deployed a lot of stuff over on that side, and then I kind of spread out the rest of my stuff across, and he had a couple things out there. Um, but basically, at the beginning of the game, my babushka started shooting things off uh, across the other side of the board with the with its 36-inch range on the, the main guns. It was able to start get me some points right away so I could play a little bit more defensive. Uh, uh, we had another thing where I had my Nadia kind of stuck... Um, behind a wall over on the the right flank and he would put qu quite a few models over there to try to take her out but uh, with that heavy cover she was uh, sitting pretty pretty well there blocking most of the incoming shots um, and it also it, it was taking a decent amount, chunk of his army's attention while I was cleaning up things kind of more in the middle and and on his left flank so uh, it ended up I uh, forget the exact points, but um, I got the win, and I uh, killed 115 points of his. And he had only, I think, killed my Faye Kelly. Or no, he killed my Red Storm, I think. He, he killed one full um, unit, I think. or He might have got both the Faye Kelly and the Red Storm. But uh, he, anyways, I, I was able to kill more and got the win, so... It was a good game. He was a fun opponent. Uh, 
And uh, so it was good to start off the day with the win for my first dust tournament. So game two, I played uh, an allies player. Uh, so I don't have his uh, whole list, but the basically what it consisted of was two fireballs with uh, uh, airdrop, and each of them had a unit inside. One had the barbecue squad, and the other had mm, I don't remember red devils maybe or hellboys or something, and uh, the one with also had Rosie in it. And then he had a sniper squad and uh, some, I think, a command squad. And uh, the scenario we had for this one was symbolic victory, and our deployment was double envelopment. So uh, it was kind of an interesting thing where he basically deployed just two units at the start of the game, and I deployed my uh, whole army down. I had... Uh, my one platoon in the one corner, and then I put my other platoon in the other corner. And as you can see from these pictures here, uh, the symbolic victory was this, trying to hold the center of the board, uh, or have the most, at the end of the game, you want to have the most damage capacity left in the center of the board, uh, within 12 inches of it. So, uh, what happened was he dropped his fireballs down right in front of my main deployment area and uh, really put the hurt down there I, I had you know quite a few things there that weren't even able to hit his um, armor 7 vehicles and so the things that could did do a little bit I got I think like three wounds on one and four wounds on the other um, before everything got chewed up but yeah it was it was not a good good deal for me with uh, his airdrop and that uh, but meanwhile, the, my other platoon came down and took out uh, his command squad and moved towards that middle area of the board to try to take that. And it did take him a long time to chew through those, so the games are only five turns, so I was hoping maybe he wouldn't be able to get his fireballs back in time. And, uh, oh, I took out his sniper squad, too, with, uh, with the babushka, blew them out of the soft cover trees that they were deployed in. Um, but then, yeah, he did end up getting his fireballs turned around and come back. But um, in the last turn there, uh, my Faye Kelly were able to put some wounds on with the sulfur um, thrower and Molotov cocktails. And it ended up, uh, he had nine wounds on him then, but at the end of his activation, he had to take one more wound for the sulfur. So that uh, killed that off. And then the other fireball moved up into Nadia's range, and she hit him with the double sulfur uh, cannons and was able to take off uh, the rest of his wounds as well. So I ended up blowing up both the fireballs at the end, so he has had his two units and um, his hero left. Uh, and, and I think the hero had a couple wounds on it or whatever, so he ended up having 12 damage capacity left and I also had 12 damage capacity left. Nadia had like two wounds on her grandma and Kashka were completely healed but I think he took out all my fake Kelly or whatever. Maybe, yeah, or maybe there's one. Whatever it was, I know I had 12 wounds left and he had 12 wounds left. So we we actually got a tie. So that was interesting. I was, I was just like a couple things could have, you know, if it would have went just a little bit more. Uh, like yeah, if I, I didn't make any saves with Nadia on that last turn when he attacked her, so if I could have made a save there, I could have stayed in. But also, I got pretty lucky taking out both the fireballs, so it was a good, solid, close game. Uh, I, I had a total of 205 points there. He only had uh, 95 points left, so that was pretty pretty solid. So yeah, uh, my first tournament going into round three with uh, one win and one tie, I was um, pretty happy with that. So round three, I played Luke. Uh, he was a fun opponent. Um, I don't have his list either, but uh, he was playing Axis, and he had uh, at least one sniper squad, and it had uh, Angela in it, which is a very annoying combo that they can pull off. That lets Angela really take off mechs big time. He had. A unit he deployed in a building back there, too. I forget what they were. He had um, some laser 
Panzer guys and a laser squad and several kind of cheap little squads. And he had two walkers. One was good at taking out air and another one was good at taking out other mechs. Uh, so anyways, I really wasn't super thrilled with this uh, matchup. A lot of more my, my stuff is pretty um, short range. Uh, the map we got the, I think we had still another one. These was this was another one. The kind of vanilla scenarios where it was attrition, and we were, did the the deployment in the nine inches in along the edge of the board, and uh, attrition was our goal, I believe. Uh, it ended up coming down to being a fairly close game. My thing was just kind of blitz across the board. As fast as I could, really, to do as much damage as I could. Uh, uh, my chopper took out quite a few things. Got his angel off the the top of the building and the sniper. Uh, Grandma with their howitzer did pretty good. Uh, as you can kind of see in the one picture there, my there's there's kind of this uh, wall thing sitting in the middle, and I kind of parked my mechs, uh, Grandma and Nadia, by that. To try to kind of protect them for a while um, from the fire across, and then um, Babushka just stayed in the back trying to pick off things from long range. He did a good job for a while till um, finally he he was overcome by the other mech, I believe. So um, I forget how many points Luke ended up getting, but I got 110. I don't think he got. A lot more than that, but it was enough that yeah he had more, so he got the win. But uh, it was a good game. So now I was one one and one after three games. So yeah, this final game uh, was against Dave. Um, I do have his list. He had Angela and Laura. He had the Sturm Grenadier platoon uh, with the Commando troop uh, with grenades, heavy flat grenades, air enhanced Fleerfaust. Uh, Battle Grenadiers. He replaced one STG-47 with a Panzer Shrek. His uh, third section was a Laser Jagran Grenadier with high visibility lasers. And then he had two um, Sniper gren Grenadier teams. And then his Sturm Grenadier platoon. He had a uh, Command Section Commando Troop. Uh, heavy Flat Grenadiers with Air Enhanced Fleer Faust. He had some Axis Gorillas and a laser Jagradineer with high visibility lasers and another sniper grenade team. So, uh, this game I forgot to take pictures of because I don't know, I was tired and stuff. This was probably my least fun game just because, I don't know, I, being my first tournament, I, there were a few things I didn't know, and so I set up the scenario probably not to the best. Uh, way it should have been. So yeah, he had all infantry, and he had lots of range, and with the battle builder, somehow, I don't know, I was ridiculous and let us go the long march. I should have made sure that we for sure didn't do that, because with all his long range options, I was just marching, in my short range, I was just marching across the field getting shot up. That was, that was really dumb on my part, and it made the game just, you know, kind of a foregone conclusion that I was going to lose. So, I, yeah, I, and then also there was a thing with the, uh, I got the combat, I thought with all of his, uh, infantry, it'd be good to get the combat fatigue part of the, from, out of the battle builder. Um, but the way we set up the board, I didn't realize that it, there's kind of a difference between being like behind hardcover or in hardcover. So, like, uh, buildings and things that you're actually in providing hardcover. Um, or things that work for combat fatigue, but just being behind like a wall that provides hard cover does not count for that scenario. For that scenario um, uh, rules. So I would have maybe set up the table a little bit different too, knowing that, or not even tried to go to that. But I just thought with all of his infantry, that might be a good one to try to do. But so basically, what the game came down to was I um, marched across the uh, thing. Oh, and our, our goal for this one was the symbolic victory. So I was trying to get all my guys to the middle to, to hold that. So, um, But he ended up completely tabling me, took everything off the board. So it didn't even matter about getting to that symbolic victory. He had plenty of guys left. I did kill, uh, you know, a, 
quite a few things. I killed those Laura and um, the Flieger Faust group that she was with, and you know I got a few other things, but uh, he got um, all of my points. I guess I got 109 points total, so I got you know a little over a third of his army, and uh, that was uh, it was a good learning experience to figure out you know the battle builder more and learn some more rules. Uh, overall, the whole tournament was a good learning experience uh, for myself and Jordan. Um, we were playing, I think, most of the rules pretty much right, but there was a couple things we learned there that little um, technical things that uh, were helpful. And like I said, overall, a lot of fun. All the all the opponents were nice. Uh, it was a good group of folks. Uh, I look forward to maybe you know getting up there and getting some more Dust Warfare games in at some point. Uh, I ended up getting a dog tag and some suppression markers for where I placed. I don't. Rem I think everyone got a dog tag, but I don't remember um, how far down they gave the suppression markers or whatever. If everyone got those two, or but uh, I don't even remember where I placed, like sixth or seventh or something. I don't know. Uh, but it was a good time. It was all fun. Uh, I will definitely go back. Uh, I wish I would remember to take more pictures during my last game. But uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.